I'm here with the Pride Heavyweight Champion, Rodrigo Noguera. Are you more excited and or nervous about fighting Dan Henderson or about your brother fighting? Yeah, they're both. Yeah, the hands are pretty good fighter. I had a fight with him once. Now I got the rematch, I have a chance to change that. But my brother's gonna fight today. He's my twin brother, you know? Uh -huh. So I'm very excited about this fight. Okay. And uh, what is your motivation besides revenge for Dan Henderson? Uh, because I think that, that the result was uh, unfair. In, in the uh, first decision? Yeah, the first decision. And now I have a chance to change that for my career. So I think I, I, I can beat him. I, I'm going to try to show that today for the Pride fans. Antonio Rodrigo Minotauro Noguera is the Pride Heavyweight Champion, and he suffered his only loss against Dangerous Dan Henderson, and he wants revenge. That's what he wants. Revenge. Revenge. That's one thing on his mind. He improved dramatically since that fight. He improved in boxing, on the ground, in everything he does. So, and he is the champion. He beat pretty much everybody on this planet. People, people around the world consider him the top fighter in the sport, the top fighter in the world. And rightfully so, because he's trashed everybody. Dan Henderson has got a tall order. He's probably going to end up on the short end tonight. Now, you've uh, fought Bob Sapp, Sammy Schultz, and both of those guys were giants. You were the giant killer now. Is the role reversed, and now is Dan Henderson the giant killer? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's not the giant killer today. Come on. <laughs> I'm the giant killer. <laughs> uh, he's small than me. He's much faster. It's totally different technique I have to, to show today, you know. I got to be much faster than last match, and I'm in better shape now. I hope I can do it. Yep, now, you can say who's the man, who's number one, and it happens to be this guy right here, Pride Heavyweight Champion, Antonio Rodrigo Noguera, also known as Minotauro. I think this guy looks focused as you could be. Whoa. I mean, you would have thought maybe because he fought such guys like Bob Sapp and people like that, he might take Dan Henderson lightly. No. But because Dan Henderson gave him that only loss, yep. I think he's got extra motivation in this fight. Yeah, and I saw pictures of uh, that fight of him, and his body is in a totally different shape right now. He looks leaner. It was also ring rules, which means no punching on the ground. His boxing improved. Man, he wants revenge. That's one thing for sure. We've talked about it already. But uh, is he going to get it? We don't know. I'm trying to think of a scenario which would favor Dan Henderson in this fight, and I can't. Can you? No, to tell you the truth, no, I can't. I, I, the scenario would be because Dan is Greco, close the distance, upper body throw, and then just lay for control. But I think as soon as he starts moving a little bit, his knees are throwing knees, he's going to go in the guard of Nogueira, and Nogueira will go for submissions. Yeah, we all know that he's unbeatable with there, but somebody's in his guard. And I think because Nogueira has improved vastly in a standing game, that is not going to be a good situation for Dan either. Even though Dan does have the good right hand, he's going to be at a reach disadvantage and a height disadvantage. And Noguera's got real straight punches as he exhibited against Heath Herring. Let's go up to K. Grant. From Team Quest, Dangerous Dan Henderson.
試合は両選手の体重差がヘビー級規定による1 5ラム以上ありますが Yep, and we were talking about that uh, the underdog thing, but you know what? In the opening of the show with the girls, I really thought I was top dog there, but you as the underdog I clearly stole all these girls away from me. So if this is going to happen now here in the fight... Yes, but boss, let me tell you something. I don't think I will ever be anything but the underdog next to you in a, in a physical sense, because you're the man. I mean, I have a lot of respect for you. It's true, I got the girls. You got the girls. And I'm telling you, it's, it's, I'm not gonna lie, it is a fantasy. I mean, the pride ring girls are gorgeous. <laughs> but back to the fight. Yes, let's do that. The underdog versus the overdog. And uh, Henderson wants to touch gloves. Doesn't look like Noguera wants any of that. Noguera, uh, oh, right hand by Henderson right away. As you said before, Henderson grabbed going up. Yep, and uh, we heard Noguera saying that he had a very strong grip. Yeah, uh, meaning Henderson. The Henderson, yes. He said that Henderson's grip is so very strong, it's unbelievable. Look at this, I can't believe this, Henderson on top. Yeah, but that's what I said, you know, he's <laughs> Olympic-style wrestler. Uh-oh. Noguera trying for the takedown. Look at the balance of Dan Henderson. I'm impressed already by Dangerous Dan. He's, he's closing his hands. God knows he's going to throw him upper body throw. If Henderson needs a fight, like a fight of his life, it would be in this match. And he will, this will be a total upset. If he, if he can pull this off, wow. That would be unbelievable. Dan Henderson said he was glad that this was a non-title fight because he said, he said that if he won the title from Noguera, then he would have to face all those big guys like Semi Schilt and Bob Sapp and all those big monsters. That's a good point. <laughs> I think he wants to stay down around 205. Actually, Dan could cut to 185 if and when we ever create that third weight division. Well, I'm looking here at Noguera's uh, face. His nose is red. You, I don't know if you can see it here on the screen. But from right side, you can see it on the right, on the right side. It had to be a direct result of that overhand right that Dan threw right away at the beginning of the match. Look at Henderson using ring movement. Oh! And hit. oh! Look at this! Henderson just throwing that thing like it's there's no tomorrow. And now he's got the double other hooks, and, that's, and, and he's a Greco guy. Yeah. Man, I'm, I'm totally impressed here. Yeah. Whatever outcome it, this is going to be. Yeah, you know, exactly, boss. No matter what happens in the fight from here on out, if, if uh, Henderson goes down in flames, this first couple of minutes has been so competitive. And he's going to throw it. There you go. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I mean, you know what? I should believe it because Dan Henderson, being the decorated wrestler he is, has got that uh, ability, but now he's in the guard yep. of Noguera. And this is a, the, probably the most dangerous position when you fight Noguera is in the guard. Yeah, but not a full guard yet. And he, he this is bad. Yeah. You do not want to be here with Noguera. You see it coming. This is already pushing the hands away. This is a good strategy, what Dan is doing right now. Stay very close. Keep your ear. Listen to his heart rate or something. Do something, but... Yeah. Forget the stethoscope. <laughs> yeah. Cauliflower ear will do fine. Yeah. You, you see, he's already... Uh, Noguera's grabbing his arm. He's probably going to grip up, grab... Oh, nice right hands there. Look at this. Look at Dan going. Now, who would ever have thought that the man that beat Bob Sapp would be dominated by a man that he was up <laughs> who had a half the size. Then. Yeah. yeah, that is half the size of Bob Sapp. He is. Almost exactly half the size. At least weight-wise. You see Nogueros looking for that submission. That is strong as a mule. Now he goes. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. He's got to get out here. Okay, he's going to get out, but the thing is, is he going to get home with here? Uh oh, yeah. This is yeah. not good at all. He's got to go to the other side. Yeah. He's got to. He's got to. He's got to step over. But Nogueros got a good grip. That's a good thing to do. Step more over, then you get a plus. Uh-oh. Okay, what's gonna happen now? Don't care, no, he's gotta flip out. Yeah, he, he's gotta get Omar plotted here. 
No, he, Dan has got to roll out. Front roll right now. Uh, like over his shoulder, bang. Wouldn't he go right into an arm bar if he did that? No, because he kept pulling out while he's rolling. Now he's going to get, now he's going to get a serious drop. I don't, I don't think he's going to get out of this, boss. <laughs> it looks like this. <laughs> if he does, I'm going to stand up and cheer. I, but I tell you, he should roll out. If, yeah, now Nogueira holds his legs, you see? He should have rolled out and pulled. Roll and pull the arm on. See, he's got the arm locked. He can go, Nogueira could go for a choke here. Don't get your head wow. down. No, don't let him come up. Head up. Keep coming. Keep coming. Head up. Head up. Dan is almost. If he gets out of this, no, it's going to be. This is probably going to be over. Yeah, yeah. Look, he, all he has to do is turn his body. He's going to twist that arm. He's going to twist that arm. Now, this is a technician here, folks. This is unbelievable. Yeah. It's unbelievable that he's still here. Yeah. Noguera if Noguera let his hand, arm go, he's going to roll out. He's going to get out. Yeah. He's going to get out. Look at this. He's getting out. Oh, oh my yes. God. Oh, look at this. Wow. And look at the, the guillotine here. And Dan Henderson. Oh, man. Throw the knees. Man, can you believe that? That was impressive. <laughs> I've seen Dan Henderson fight a lot, and this is the best I've ever seen him fight. It's unbelievable. <laughs> oh my God, what must Noguera think right now? But Noguera is not rattled because Noguera's been oh, yeah. in situation. Oh, he's going for, uh, oh, 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 oh. Going for the hammer lock here. You gotta stretch this, he's gonna good escape his temple already here. Now he's gotta pull his other arm out. No, don't let him close that down because now he's gonna lose it. He's gonna lose it. Oh, he's gotta stretch that arm, keep it stretched. If Nogueira can bend it, it's gonna be over. If he can stretch it, maybe he can outpower it. He's got it, he's got it bent. Yep, but he, what he wants to do, he wants to touch that Henderson seat. If he wants to push yes. the hand of that Henderson on that Henderson's back, that is bad, and then he can finish it. This is unreal. This is high drama here in Fukuoka, Japan. A lot of people just wrote this off as a shutout for Nogueira. It has been anything but that. Dan Henderson has taken Nogueira down, he's punched him. He's gotten out of numerous submissions. Who would have thought it? I never put arm wrestling with Dan Henderson. That's one of the sure. <laughs> Look at this, he's gonna do it again. He's gonna roll the other side. Three no. minutes left in the round. He's gonna roll the other side. That's it. He just popped right out. Look at this. Whoa. You know, I tell you, people may say, oh, I can't. Look at this. This is just incredible. Nogueira's going to be thinking, uh-oh, but not yet. Nogueira knows it's the right hand. He knows it's the right hand coming. It's a guided missile. So he should throw to the left. Set him up. Man, look, look how wary Nogueira is of this little wolverine in front of him. But how much effort, how much energy has been expended by both men? A lot. Yeah. Uh-oh, Nogueira's starting to pack. Oh, nice, but I'm going to get him But then Nogueira falls over the knee. Was that a hit? No. Oh, big low kick. Drop Henderson momentarily, and Nogueira steps back. And, uh, oh, Henderson answers back. Oh, good right hand by Noguera. But Henderson hangs tough. Looks like Henderson's getting a little winded here. Yep, he's, he's gonna do the second win. He's gonna do exactly what he's doing right now. See if he can get a takedown. How do I stay in this position? But don't let him go anymore. Oh, good knee to the body by Noguera. And he steps back. Oh, that right hand again. That right hand caught Noguera right on the button, but it didn't phase him this time. Noguera seems to be in control at the moment. Yeah, we know that Dan has been in war and he came back, man. So, especially after. Oh, look at look this. Look at this. Just training, punches, look at it. 
Wow, man. All you fighters out there, if you want to learn a thing or two about putting your part on the line and making a statement, this is the match to watch. If you think fighting conservatively will assure you being a star in Japan, think again. Watch Henderson Noguera. Fake the right roundhouse kick right hand. I love that move. Yeah. We have 30 seconds left in the first round. Who could have thought that it would go to front? I'm, mad. I'm so impressed. Look at this. Yeah. I think he's going he's to ride it out. He's going to try and regroup. And, but there's a takedown. And the mount is too late, though. If he can submit him in the, in the five seconds left, I don't think so. But this is the same position that uh, they were in in their first fight for the majority of that first match was, was in the rings organization. Noguera in control. Whoa! Noguera's got to be thinking of Henderson, dude. Man. He's going to be thinking, what the hell's going on here? Oh, goodness. This is not supposed to happen. I'm supposed to walk through this guy. Whoa. Impressive. Yeah, in a word. Jeez. <laughs> Good. Well, welcome to uh, the top three. We can uh, put him now in the middle eight, for sure. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know a lot of guys, and, and you know, Henderson doesn't even weigh 200 pounds, 205 pounds. He's like down to 199, 197. 94. Oh, For this fight, he's 194. Please. And the other one is 234. <laughs> and look at this. Henderson refuses to lose. Yeah. He just says, you know what? I'm not going to lose to you. Not yet. You know what, baby? They, not at all. And look at this beautiful control. Well, and this. How the, on earth could he get out of this? I don't know, man. He should have bent the arm, pushed the hand on Henderson's back, push it on his back. As soon as you release it, only one or two inches, it's the, yes, you don't get the leverage anymore with a strong guy. And but, obviously, he's very strong. Now, let me ask you this. Do you think it's possible that Noguera took Dan Henderson lightly in this fight? It, it, listen, it's got to be. I mean, um, I, you know what? On, on one side, I don't think so. Because he knows that Dan is going to be ready for him. And, and Noguera is the type of guy who's going to be always in shape. You know, he always trains hard. The whole Brazilian top team. But maybe in the back of the head, yeah, he thought, you know what? I got the weight advantage. I got this, I got that. I hope I'm going to get him. I hope for Noguera's... Uh, benefit that you're right because Henderson's coming off a loss to Noguera's stablemate Ricardo Morona, who's a lot lighter and probably not even technically as gifted as Noguera. So I wonder if I hope that's not the case because he's obviously he knows that he's going to need all his facility to beat Henderson right here. But at the end of that uh, first round, he had it mounted. I think that uh, Dan may have spent his best in that first round, but we're going to see. Henderson's so cagey, so dangerous. Dangerous Henderson, that would be a good name. Huh? I already nicknamed him Dangerous Dan. Okay, there you go. From the... Ooh, the right hand. You know, he's waiting for it. He's just waiting in the wings with that right hand. Blast. Ooh, then left him right up, got nice. Right up, was a hit. And he's gonna get him. Oh, my God, and again. And look at this, he's passing right away. No. Almost. Almost. Almost got side mount. But still, that's very impressive. Oh, the guard. He shouldn't have done that. But you know what? Until now, he hasn't been in trouble. And he did good, actually, with the punching power. I don't know, that first round, that was something else. If Dan is tired, he can play a smart game here, move a little bit around, catch a second win, and then in third round, go out blasting. Yeah. You know, it's like Henderson said. He said he wants to throw a monkey wrench into the works. And I, if he pulls out a victory here, I think he'll do just that. Oh my 
Well, then he's going to fight Fedor. <laughs> no, no, I don't think he wants to fight Fedor. <laughs> I don't know, man. Fedor, that's a scary guy. It's also a little Terminator. No, actually, a heavy Terminator. Yeah. Uh, Wolverine. Look, he's going to go for the, uh, the reverse figure four. If he's going to get that, oh, he's going to pass, try to pass the foot to go for the good team. Oh, Dan did his homework. Now he's going for the other arm. This is dangerous. This is dangerous because he can get it, and otherwise he can turn Dan. And then, he, and then Noguera gets the mount. Noguera being patient, doesn't have it locked completely yet, but uh-oh, getting close. Then he's got to escape out of the guard. He's got to right away. He's got to stretch his legs, he's got to go to the other side. He's got to get out. He's got to get out. He cannot let him close the guard. No, he's really got to watch out for that. Uh-oh. Noguera is starting to lock that arm up. Yep, he's got it locked. And he's, he's starting to lock the legs, too, which is... But he can throw away a lot of energy here. We, see, we know by now that Dan is very, very strong. He's just resting. Oh, there we go again. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. It looks like Dan is working hard to get out of the guard. Yeah, he's, he's not going to finish it. Like, Dan is going to finish it if he can bend it. Oh. As long as he keeps it stretched, he can twist his arm around and then pull it out. This could be it. Uh -oh. And look at look at Dan working to get out of the guard there. Look at unbelievable. Oh my god, he's trapped. He's trapped. He's getting out. He is getting out. How is this look at this. This is unbelievable. He's out. Now what's he gonna do? He's gonna leave my Man. This is, this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. The most amazing thing, how he got out of that block. Didn't he tell, I think he told me one day that he has a farm with farm animals. I think he walks around with them or something. He's so strong. Come on, man, get him. Wow. Yeah, this is, whatever happens, he cannot lose this fight anymore. Okay, we got one minute left and Noguera's on top now. Noguera is side mount. Oh, he, oh it's going. No, this could be very dangerous. No, he's out again. He gets out of the, oh, he, he's going for, he's going for, look, look, at, look at Henderson defending here, though. Perfect. Oh, man, he, man, he's, oh, he's, he's making this so difficult for Noguera. Oh, let me stretch it. This is, this, this is almost over. He's got to underhook, he's got to throw, he's got to throw the off. 30 seconds left. Oh, he got out of it. Henderson escapes again. Harry Houdini relived here. Wow. This is so amazing. I tell you, we call him Dangerous Dan Henderson. Why don't we call him the amazing Dan Henderson? He need that nickname for him right now. Houdini, dangerous. Uh, everything. Wow. This is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Well, oh, what must no care, I think? But <laughs> what is going you know, on here? You know, you know, the weird thing is, boss, you can't win a fight by escaping submissions. No. But you can sure as hell make a statement. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the, hey, listen, if he, but I tell you this, if he's going to rock now, round number three, he might even win the fight. If he's going to blaze out now. And with that right hand, he rocks him, and the right up Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. He, he bends the arm, as you said. <laughs> yeah. And look at Dan, Dan work his way out of the guard of Noguera. <laughs> look at this, he's pushing it off. I never saw this in my life. I mean, we saw Alex Diebling doing some crazy stuff, too, escape. Yeah. But this with no, this is with Noguera now. It's un, unreal. And we said before, Noguera's got the best submissions in the heavyweight ranks, but they're truly being tested tonight. And Dan Henderson is that little tune-up. He's making it like a, a test of torment for the champion. Inside the champion's head, he must be thinking, uh-oh, wasn't I thought I was supposed to be good at this. Listen, if he...
did, even if, he, if he's going to lose a decision now, they should give him a rematch with Vendelay Silva <laughs> just for this. Wow. What could Nuk Nogueira be thinking right here? No, he thinks, how, how is this possible? He, he's blank. Right now, his face is blank. He thinks, what can I do? I, I did everything. I did for triangle, I did the pick of floors, I did the shoulder locks, I did, I did everything. I punched him. Well, Nogueira, had, Nogueira had a similar situation when he fought Heath Herring, where he got him in submissions and Heath got right out of it, but Heath used brute strength. It was Dan, Dan was just, you know, using his wiliness and his heart and soul. And Nogueira's got to be thinking, dude, go away, please. You're making me look bad here. Just, just go away, Dan, please. <laughs> People are applauding here. They are applauding, and rightfully so. They're probably applauding Henderson. <laughs> yeah. Because Henderson has come in here. Look at oh, this. There was the right hook again. You know, smart money was on Nogueira by a first round submission. Oh, good trip takedown. And Nogueira got the mount. And Boss, theoretically, this fight should be over soon. <laughs> yeah, but it should. Theoretically. Yeah. But all theory went out the window in those first two rounds. Yeah. So we're only going to speak theoretically because in actuality, it's Dan Henderson in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, um, I got so much respect here right now. I, it's un unbelievable. Uh, Nogueira now in mount. He's probably thinking, okay, you know what? No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more submissions. No, that's what I wanted to say. He's not going to go for straight out because he's going he, to... Because he's going to get out of it. Yeah. He couldn't submit him in their first fight. And so far, in this non-title fight, Nogueira has not been able to submit Dan Henderson. And it's so, it had him so close how many times? I mean, it's just been ridiculous. Look at this. Get a figure four. If he can. Oh. Yeah, no, he cannot really get it. But if he would, if Nogueira would make a half guard now to the opposite side of the right arm of Dan Henderson, then he could finish it. It's, by the way, in the big boss room, the biggest people come back. Yeah, there's two really good writers on that book, I think. Yeah, the, the best. They, 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 they took the best writer for it. <laughs> Straight out, fucking up. Yeah, it's all the fight. Is, no, no, we can't say that. We can't say that. Oh, boy. We can't say that. Oh, oh yes, it's going to be over. Oh, God, but... Wow, but this was unbelievable. Ref stops. Ref, the ref stops. Ref stops. Okay, that was an amazing match. And we did see what we expected to see. But Nogueira had to go through hell and high water, and he had to be really afraid that he was not going to win or submit him. But he got the submission victory uh, over dangerous Dan Henderson. And it was 1 minute 49 seconds of round number three by armbar. But, boss, <laughs> what can you say about Henderson? We're talking about it all the time now. Here we see the armbar slipping on again on screen. He escaped everything. This guy is so strong. Uh, I know for a fact that Nogueira right now, he's got, he's got to know that. He's got to go to that. He's got to say, okay, man, you are unbelievable. I, I, I think uh, Dan Henderson deserves to jump back in the, in the high part of the mix of the middleweight 205 pound division. Uh, I think what's going to happen here, Kevin Randleman, <laughs> well, yeah, that. was another guy who made a huge statement tonight when he stopped Marilla Ninjahua. So we got Dan Henderson, we got, I mean, these wrestlers, what's going on? Ron Waterman came in here, another wrestler. Dan Henderson, another wrestler. The wrestlers had a field day tonight. Well, it's uh, this pride, it started off a little slow. But then it became exactly what we wanted, and this main event was the main event.
This was a great show. What an unbelievable escape attempts, uh, 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 submission attacks. Uh, I, I, I'm speechless. Throughout the whole fight, I said it. I'm speechless. Well, I'll tell you what, folks. We got the Pride video game. Don't forget to tune in to the www.pridefc.com for all the details. The video game is going to come out in February. We have the dolls. Order, only order on the website. You know, we've got all kinds of stuff going on. And we got two tournaments coming up. We've got the heavyweight tournament and the middleweight tournament later this year. So on behalf of my broadcast partner, he is El Wabo Basrup. I'm Steve Quadro, the fight professor. professor. I'm the fight professor. Yes. This has been the Pride Fighting Championships, Cold Fury 3. We'll see you next time. Sayonara.